야. 안녕하세요 오늘도 운동하기 위해서 설 연휴 첫날이죠 아. 어, 왜나 턱걸이만 해가지고 오늘은 팔굽혀펴기 어, 스트레칭 좀 하고 팔굽혀펴기 몇개 하지? 20개씩 4세트 아 이거만 하고 저는 이제 서울로 올라가겠습니다 아, 집에 가야죠 역시나 오늘 아침에는 역시나 CNN 귤을 다 먹었어요 아, 자, 아침에 콘프레스 먹고 귤 먹었는데 더 이상 먹을 게 없습니다 점심 못 먹죠 점심을 굶어야 될 판이에요 
it should be done officially and put in writing. And I told Bill Taylor, that's wrong. Uh, and we shouldn't be doing that as a matter of U.S. policy. And when asked, what did he say? Mr. Kent said, Oh, or, gosh. He said he agreed with me. Now, what's also important to note is this. Why? Ukraine made this clear. If the U.S. was asking them for investigations, especially investigations that make them uncomfortable, they should be done officially and put in writing. Mr. Kent's testimony shows that. He said, quote, Yermak was very uncomfortable when this was raised with him and suggested if that were the case, if that were really the position of the United States, it should be done officially and put in writing. And this wasn't the only time. On August 13, Mr. Yermak asked Ambassador Volker, quote, whether any requests had ever been made by the United States to investigate election interference in 2016. Now this makes sense. Normally, if something is actually about official U.S. policy, the president would go through official U.S. channels. But if we've seen here, he didn't. His personal attorney made this. This was, wasn't about foreign policy. It was something that would benefit President Trump personally. The administration officials made this clear too. There were undisputed testimony that the investigations were not part of U.S. policy. In fact, they diverged with the U.S. national security and our nation's values. And the Department of Justice has made this crystal clear. Never asked officially to to do any of these investigations. And that's how we know this is so very wrong. Even Ukraine, a struggling new country, knew this was wrong. And they stood up to President Trump and said so. Yermak and remember who is Zelensky's. Chief um, 